Remember, fire service ticks are qualitative devices. We're not looking for exact measurements. We're looking for what's wrong or anomalies. So one of the biggest problems in the fire service next to not carrying the camera is reading the spot temperature. So if this camera has a number on it, like if I hit this button at the bottom, it says this room is approximately 59 degrees, maybe within a certain range, but I don't want to trust that as an exact measurement. The hotter this environment gets, the further that measurement is off. The further it's off from this surface, whether it's a rough surface and it becomes a more shiny surface, the further that measurement's off. What's between me and the target can change that actual measurement. If I'm too far away from the target, that can change the actual measurement. I've got hundreds of videos where firefighters push down a hallway, including my own, and it's looking at the floor or lower portion of the environment, and it's saying the room is between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, knowing that three feet above them is a very hot environment between 500 to 1,000 degrees. I don't want to read the spot temperature. I want to look at the big picture. So when you drive down the road, you look at the big picture. You look for the car to the right, the car to the left. You make sure nothing's going to hit you. You don't look at a little number in the bottom right-hand corner or the bottom right-hand corner of your windshield to determine what's going to help you or hurt you when you're driving. Look at the big picture. Look at the overall image and make sure you understand it. If something's not right, trust your training, not the technology.